Hi team, this tutorial is going to show you how to make a bounce pad for your side-scrolling platformer games. So as you can see here, I've already done the basic code uh, for your platformer game. Um, if you're looking for this, it's on the same YouTube channel that this video is on. If you just go down into the videos and it's called uh, Side-Scrolling Platformer Part 1 Setup or something like that. Um, so with the basic code, I've made myself a little tile map. It's quite simple, but I've made myself a really big jump. You can't make it across here. So this is where a bounce pad would be useful. So I'm going to put it right in the middle here. So when you jump down, you can bounce off the pad and up onto the next platform. So the step, step one for this is to go into your tile map. And you will need to put something to represent where your bounce pad will go. So you can make your own block. So if you click on My Tiles and little plus, you can choose any color you like. Just make sure it isn't used somewhere else in your code. And grab the Fill tool. You can just fill in that. And this will represent where your bounce pad will go. So I want my bounce pad to be right in the middle here. Right in the middle of this big jump. So then click Done. And now you should see, when we go there, there will be the purple block, or whatever color you have chosen, to show where the bounce pad will go. The next step is to scroll down in your bar here and grab a new function. So click on Functions, then click Make a Function. And I'm going to name it Bounce Pad. Click Done. I've already made it. Bounce Pad 1. And the most important step here is to make sure you go into functions, then drag out call bounce pad one and put this in under your on start block. Next, come back over to this function bounce pad one and click on loops and drag out this for element value of list. Drop that in there. Then we want to go into scene and find this array of all locations. Drop that in where it says list. Next, we want to click on this little block here and change this to whatever color you've chosen for your placeholder or your bounce pad. So I chose purple. Next, we want to make the sprite for the bounce pad. We click on sprites, and this new set my sprite to sprite of kind whatever. I'm going to rename it to bounce. So to do that, just click on rename variable down here. Then type in what you want to call it, and change the of kind player. Change player to bounce pad. To do that, click add new kind, then let's call it bouncer or bounce pad or whatever you'd like. Next, click on this block here, go into gallery, and I'm going to choose something to be my bounce pad. You are more than welcome to draw your own little bounce pad as well if you'd like. I'm going to choose the little button down here. Here we are. And I'm going to color in the A. So I've just got a little green button. But you can do whatever you'd like with this. It's up to you. Next, go into Scene and drag out this Place My Sprite on top of Tile Map. Drag that out. 
and change this tile map block here to value. Let's drag it out of this bit here. And change my sprite to bounce pad or bounce, whatever you call your sprite. Next, go back into scene, scroll down, and find this set this at tile map. Drop that in at the bottom, and again, just put value in where it says tile map. So now, if we go have a look in our game, we have our little bounce pad here, but it doesn't do anything at the moment. To make our little bounce pad do things, we want to go into sprites, scroll down, and drag out on sprite of kind player overlaps. And we want it to do this when it overlaps a bounce pad. So if we change the second bit where it says player, change that to bounce it. Make sure this bit here and this bit here are the same. Next, go into sprites again, scroll down, and drag out this set my sprite x to zero. This is what's going to make our sprite bounce. So if you change x to velocity y, and this is the same code as the jumping. So last step is to change this little value in here to whatever you want you think to bounce, the height you want it to bounce. So the higher the number is, the higher your bounce. I found that the number I like is around negative 250. But you can do anywhere from negative 1 to negative 5,000. And all of them will change how much you bounce. So now, we have a look at our game. And we jump onto the bounce pad. We will bounce up to the other side. So I hope that helps with your games. And I'll show you the code one last time so you can copy that down. Hopefully that helps with your games, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.